My name is Dwayne, and this video I'm going to give you a little information concerning surgery procedure I had yesterday morning about uh, 24 hours ago, and it's basically a repair of my left trapezium thumb joint. Actually, it removed the bone, the trapezium bone, from the joint itself due to basal uh, joint arthritis, um, after which I had tried several times having injections of cortisol. did not work for me. It uh, worked for about three hours. The uh, results were not worth the pain that the shot caused. The shot was terribly painful. Uh, even whenever she sprayed the freezing spray on there, the numbing spray, still was very painful. So, um, basically, yesterday morning, uh, I arrived at 11 o'clock at uh, Caramont Medical Center uh, in Gastonia. Uh, my doctor was Dr. Dolly Skeet from Carolina Orthopedic and Sports Medicine in Gastonia. I highly recommend her. She's very personable, very professional, very knowledgeable. And she makes you feel like uh, she understands you're a human being, which... Uh, she has a wonderful bedside presence. Um, so what happened was I wasn't able to eat anything after midnight. And even though my appointment was at 11 a.m., I couldn't eat or drink anything until then. When I arrived, uh, one of the first things they, they did was after going over the paperwork, uh, getting all the I's dotted and the T's crossed, they basically um, went straight in, put the IV in my hand, about 11.30 a.m. And they gave me a nerve block prior to the surgery. And the nerve block, I've had nerve blocks before in my neck uh, after having or prior to having uh, rotator cuff surgery on both shoulders. But they gave me this one behind my collarbone. Now, let me tell you, when they did the nerve block, they gave me some uh, general anesthesia real quick. Um, I heard him tell the nurse to give him a two plus two push and they disappeared and they were gone. Um, I just realized that they had left and I had apparently been out because my arm was starting to get numb. Uh, and within probably 10 minutes, uh, my arm was just dead weight. So there was no pain involved with the nerve block at all. I don't remember anything about it. I uh, never felt anything other than the, the uh, a, little, a slight burn from the uh, medication going into my arm uh, from the IV. So uh, probably 20 minutes later, they came and got me, took me to the operating room, uh, rolled me back, and went over again just to make sure that I understood what procedure was being performed and, you know, taking you know, the necessary steps to make sure I'm the right person who's getting the surgery. Um, so uh, they gave me the general anesthesia, put me completely out. And I had the option actually to be awake, well, in a twilight sleep or to have general anesthesia. The only difference would be the general anesthesia would take 30 to 45 minutes longer in recovery to come out of it. So I opted to, I don't want to see it. I don't want to even be awake. Just let it get over with. Give me the general anesthesia and send me home. So that's what they did. Um, I don't remember anything. Basically, it was just click and it was over with. So uh, I was in recovery. They came in let my wife in, or took me back to the room where she was at one day. And basically, um, I'm in a kind of a clamshell cast uh, with an ace bandage around it. And I can move my arm today, but it's still somewhat numb. Uh, I'm starting to get some pain back for the first time in the joint of the thumb and up my wrist where they cut the tendon, a little small incision. Uh, yesterday, I couldn't move my arm at all. It was literally dead weight. 
like a brick tied on a rope hanged around my neck. So, but today it's not. It's it's doing well. Um, I can move my fingers. They are still numb. It feels like my hand is asleep and my arm. Uh, my upper arm, I've got all the feeling back to it. I can actually move my shoulder and move at my elbow. Um, so the prognosis is six weeks of uh, recovery. Can't lift anything over three pounds for six weeks. I will, during that time, I will wear this for probably eight to ten days. Go back to the doctor. She will take the, the semi-cast off, remove the stitches, and put the ace bandage back around it or a small brace, uh, depending on how it's going. At, after that time, uh, at some point, probably around three weeks, I will start physical therapy, um, which I'm sure is will involve you know getting the range of motion back and the stiffness out of my hand. But um, the surgery was not bad. I second guessed myself all the way up into going into it, wondering if I should have had the surgery or not, if I was making the right decision. Afterwards, too late to cry, but no, uh, yeah, I made the right decision because I had spent a lot of time with with pain in that joint, uh, making it hard to open a soft drink, uh, any kind of can, to hold a pair of pliers, uh, uh, any kind of tool, even typing using my thumb uh, had become very painful. Um, I had tried to use some... Um, Voltaren cream from Walmart, which is the only thing I have found yet that will somewhat alleviate arthritis pain in your hands. So there you have that. Get the store brand, the Equate brand. It's $9 a tube as opposed to the name brand Voltaren being $20 a tube. I have no sponsors, so I don't have a dog in that race. I'm just telling you. If you want something to help with the arthritis pain in your hands and your feet, um, try that. It's diclofenic is what it is. And it's a cream, a topical cream that you just rub on. And within 20, 30 minutes, uh, you know, the pain is relieved. But this um, will be the conclusion to video one of what I hope to be a series as I go through this process of recovery. Uh, just to give you some information for those who want to know, I had done some research on YouTube prior and was actually surprised that I didn't have that much um, information to go on. There were several people whom I thank for putting up their videos, but I just want to give you my personal perspective. Thanks for dropping by, and if you're considering having this surgery, I um, hope this helps you and gives you some insight. If you have any questions, I'm not a doctor, but I'm a patient. So, you know, I'll give you the real down and dirty on it. So thanks so much for dropping in. Hope to see you again. Have a great day and God bless you.